Raw and Uncut, Spoken in the Dog series. I have not done one in a while. The purpose is just to share. It's more important what I say than how I look. Um, I can feel it right now. Whoever it is meant to reach, they will get it. And if not, all is well. A uh, lot to say. Probably jump around with music and other things like that. But, um, you know, it's just going to come to you live and direct. But uh, anyway, um, just believe in doing things differently. Um, respect. Communication, understanding, consideration, complete honesty, and factuality. Um, so turning 38 a couple of weeks ago, things just are different. So recognizing myself and everything around me, I am a 38-year-old militant. I'm not ridiculously radical, but I am pro-black. But that does not mean anti-white or anti-hate. I mean, I'm sorry, anti-gay. Uh, again, I am going to be desiring character around me, good character that has the sentiments and capacity just to want to stick together because we have the common understanding of love, being yourself, no deception, no bullshit. And with us being completely factual and true to ourselves as adults with clear decisions and understanding, we have decided that we are going to fellowship together and be around each other when all this bullshit happens. So anyone who is in tune on any level knows that Things are about to change. We're not going back to so-called normal. Um, the powers that be or whatever else are going to do what they do. But the bottom line is to be able to galvanize with people of like mind, spirit, and understanding. Um, being yourself but being in righteousness as much as you can be. You know, trying to connect with people who at base level just want to respect each other and love each other for who they are and only being judged and seen by character. Again, myself, I can't rock with everybody because I am not anti-gay. I am not anti-white. I am not anti-anything. But what I am for is for a really, really good character. Um, and that will consist of people who just want to do the right thing uh, as they know it. That means treating themselves and others with respect, love, honor, dignity. Allowing people to be who they are. And again, just judgment and being together based upon character. And that is just being able to treat people good being honest and sincere about that. So I digress, but um, many of our so-called banners and groups, I love you and respect you all. I would love to be a liaison if you really desire to learn, share, and train. I have my skills in survival and martial arts, archery, firearms, and other stuff. I don't know everything. I am a true leader. But outside of that, um, I do not mind following and listening to anyone, man or woman, uh, who knows what they are speaking about and who wants to share their gift. So uh, I'll end this Spoken in the Dark by saying that love is on the forefront. Um, I don't desire war, but I really will protect with every essence of my being those who are on the same level of just elevating themselves, being themselves, respecting themselves, and sharing that with everyone else. You know, 
I'm going to say it one last time. I respect everyone. I am not God, so I don't judge. I don't condone or condemn what a person does. And that is from the full spectrum of being white uh, all the way down to our own Negro, African-American, black brothers and sisters of the LGBT and all the other shit community. I am not going to shun you or turn you away just because of how you live of being potentially gay, homosexual, whatever, or white. You have the right to be who you are. Um, so again, my primary example is if you are in a situation of war, you are pinned down by the enemy and all of a sudden a cavalry or back up, you know, shows up and because they are gay or potentially white, you are going to not accept or possibly deny or shun your cavalry of help or help. Fuck that. I am not with that. I am looking for character who wants to share the bottom line of being, first of all, respectful, understanding, considerate, good character, and all you want to do is find a community of love and acceptance. Again, hate will not sustain you in a particular situation of war, especially for those of us, quote unquote, revolutionaries or whatever else, who wants to fight a particular war, if you are going to kill or whatever the enemy, hate is not enough to sustain you. I promise you it's not. So last but not least, I am coming from a place of true love. If I am going to fuck you off or harm you, it will truly come out of love because you are coming to destroy or disrupt or whatever myself because I love me or the things that I have come to love from people to whatever. It comes from a place of love. Being pro-black is not anti-anything. White, gay, whatever. Character, y'all. What are you really trying to convey and do? So again, if you desire to stand on love of yourself and others who are on the same frequency of just being at peace, but we are there for one another and will protect each other. That's what I'm for. I love you all. And in the true essence of Namaste, where my soul recognizes the soul in you, that comes from love and good character. Let's figure it out. For real, for real, last but not least, in all of my love, I do desire to give it freely and truly. But I'm going to put it out there. Pedophilia, rape, or trying to force someone against their will would not be tolerated by me. I don't give a shit if I am by myself. But if you are trying to do that type of shit of pedophilia and rape, I'm going to fuck you up. Bottom line. So, um, again, I'm going to stay in its truest form. I love you all mostly. Let's figure this shit out. Peace.